Hello and welcome to Easy Classroom. For today, we will be learning a short flip flop. As we all know for the SR flip flop, the SR stands for set and reset pins. So here what we have is set, S for stands for set and R stands for reset. Now what are the problems that we can have? For the flip flop, we know that there are two versions. One is NAND version and another is NOR version. So what we have here is the NAND version of SR flip flop. From the previous lecture what we know is there are two types of triggering methods and one of which is edge triggering and in this edge triggering we have two processes one is positive edge triggering and another is negative edge triggering what we have here for the block diagram of SR flip-flop we have positive edge triggering and negative edge triggering one thing that in, where we need to understand this is how do we know what is what what is positive and what is negative for the positive, we can get only this triangle for the clock and for the negative, we, sh we should have a bubble inside that clock which says it is negatively edge triggered. The truth table of NAND gate could be like this and what we are, why we are saying all this because we need to have go for the basics, right? So the basic thing is the NAND gate and this is NAND flip-flop. So we need to understand the truth table of NAND. The NAND says if any of the input is 0, the output will be 1. And if both are 1, the output would be 0. The same thing happens in the SR flip-flop 2. Now, from, from this section, we know that this is NAND SR latch. We have understand this thing in great details in the previous lectures. Now, what we know, we are actually connecting some extra inputs to facilitate and make it a SR flip-flop. Now, what is actually happening? What we are doing? We are actually connecting two NANDs and a clock pulse. Now, what is a clock pulse? We have seen in uh, multiplexer circuits where there is, we have an enable signal. What it does, it just wakes up that particular uh, circuit so that it doesn't run off into any uh, unwanted outputs. It doesn't give any unwanted outputs. When we want, when we want to, uh, when we want the output to be there, it should give the output. Otherwise, it will stop. The clock will also do the same thing over here. If it is on, then the circuit will work. If it is off, then it will give the previous output. Okay. Now, from the previous lecture, what we have seen is whatever the input is given it is given over here from qn and the output will also be taken from qn so if we are giving this the qn as zero the output would be is will be, will be found in qn only not in qn bar okay that we have done it previously now what we need is to check whether these things works or not so this is a characteristic table and from here what we will we'll decide we will decide how this thing actually works okay so what we are have what we are having here this output of s that is the this uh, nand gate 3 will have the output as s star and this uh, nand gate 4 will have the output as r star okay so considering the clock is zero so here the clock is zero and S and R is R zeros. These two are zero. So these, these NAND gates wakes up, but the clock is zero. So let's do these things. So what is the output of the three? So zero and zero will give out, give out one and these zero and zero will give it also one. So now we are actually considering this QN2. So QN if it is zero, it will carry forward here for the 2, for the NAND gate 2 and R star. What we are actually getting? This is 0. It is coming to 0 and 0 and 1. We will get 1. Why we will get 1? From here also we will get 1 and any of the output input is 0 for the NAND gate, it will produce 1. 
So for q n bar it is 1 and this q n bar if it is fed to 1, this 1 and 1 we will get 0. If we again do the same drill and we will see that we are getting this 1 and in here we will getting the 0. So what we are actually getting? We are getting the input as output that is it is in the latch mode or in the memory state. So, so whatever we will do, whatever we will give this S and R, if the clock is zero, it will not produce any extra output. It will produce only the previous state that it has already given. So for this one, what will happen? So we are giving s equal to 0, r equal to 0. So what will expect? So this 0 and 0 for the s star, we get 1 and this 0 and 1, we will get also 1. So these things are there. Now, if given we are actually holding this given 2 into consideration as it is also the input. So what we are getting? What we are getting? We are getting this 0 and this 1. For this second NAND gate, what we are getting, this 0 and 1 will get 1 and this 1 and 1 we will give, will get 0, okay. We are getting this, so what we are giving, we are actually getting the same thing. So, is it, it is nothing but QN, okay. Now, if we give QN equals 1, what will happen? Let us see also. So nothing changed, just given, just changed. Okay. So what will happen? So this one and one we will get get zero, and this zero and one we will get one. So what we are giving, we are actually getting the same thing. So this is also QN. So this is nothing but memory. Okay. Now. For this, for this, what will what we will happen? For s equal to z, oh, zero, r equals to one. Okay, so r equals one. That is the set pin is now high. Okay, if the set pin is high, what will be the output? Okay, and this q n is zero as obvious. So. So this will, this will be 0. So now what will happen here, any out input is 0, the output will be 1. That is there. Okay. So how we will get? So 0 and 0, we will get 1. So what will we will get? Okay. So 0 or it can be 1. Now, for the set pin, reset pin is high, what, what we will get? 0 and 0. So if we are giving this two, so this will be the complementary states, so 1 and 0. Now, for this, we are considering also this one. So 0 and 0 we will get 1 and this 1 and 1 we will get 0. Okay. So if the reset pin is high, the output will be 0. Now again, if this is 1, what will be the output? So again, this 0 and 1 we will get, we will get 1 and this 1 and 1 we will get 0. So what is actually happening, if reset pin is 1, the output will always be in 0 state. So this is nothing but reset. Okay. Now, what will happen if the set pin is high? The set pin is high means the output will always be in 1 or in high state. So whenever this output is 1, whenever, the out, whenever this output is 0, we can say for sure this, this will be the 
one state okay so what we will do we will do this as one and for this also we will be one so for the last case what we will happen these two will uh, go like this if set pin is high and reset pin is high both are high so what will happen these two are also zero so these two are getting excited now what will happen this this will be uh, what we say zero so zero zero we will get uh, one I'm sorry, uh, zero, 0 we will get 1 and this 1 and 0 will get 1. So we cannot decide for what to get. Okay, these two should be complementary, but here these two are not complementary. So we will cancel this out. This is don't care about the second one is also don't care. So we will not actually consider these two states. Okay, for the rest states, what we will get, what we will get is this one okay so from this what we get is the uh, truth table of this thing so the truth table would be like this zero zero so the, there is zero zero we will get this qn state okay so in zero zero we will get the memory state for zero one for s is zero and r is one we will get on reset condition so if it is one and zero we will get set condition and for rest we will not consider okay this is invalid state so from these two this is the truth table or we will say function table okay from these two what we can get is the excitation table now what is the excitation table it actually works if we are converting one gate, one flip-flop to another flip-flop so the excitation table could be like this so this excitation table is nothing but the backward process of this entire thing so what is the backward process so this is actually a speculation if we getting if we are getting this output what could be the input right so these things like goes like this so so for zero zero what we are actually getting this is nothing but qn is nothing but also zero and this qn is also nothing but one so in zero zero condition these two and these two here r changes from 0 to 1 so we will put cross and this s actually stands there so what will we will do we will just say 1 okay for 0 1 case okay so q is 0 and q bar is 1 okay so in this case this case in this case this is only one so s is one r is zero for one zero for one zero where it is this is this one for one zero this one and rest there is nothing this is also one so zero one and for the one one for racing one one this 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 and this so here actually what happens these are also ones okay so these are also ones so here what we see is that s is changing r is not so what we say this so this is all the excitation table from this entire table okay so if we go for the Carnot map of all this to get the minimalistic diagram or the direct uh, circuit diagram what we will get for Qn only okay.
for qn plus 1 this is qn bar this is qn this is sr s bar r sr and sr bar so here how we will plot this entire thing okay so how we will plot this so where where whether whether there is there are ones we will continue that so this is one this is one and this is one these two also be taken but this is one this is one and this is one so what we will do so zero zero and qn so this one next one is this one zero and qn so one zero and qn okay so next one one zero and this is one zero and qn this is one zero and qn bar and these two we can take also as a don't care so we will take it like this so if we group like this and this two like this we will get as qn plus one r bar so we will get s plus qn r bar this is the direct phase and if we consider this direct phase we get the circuit and circuit would look like this so from this what we are getting is this so this is qn this is qn plus one the next state and this s is going like this okay so this is the direct circuit for all these things thank you for watching this thing and please do like share and subscribe